graders, Miss Gams go here for another day of Number Corner. We will start off with our date today. Today is a Tuesday. It is a Tuesday. It is Tuesday, May 5th, 2020. Now I want you to maybe we're starting to kind of see a pattern of colors. What color do you think will be behind this card? And I am going to make this a little bit larger for us so we can see the fifth today. Think of what color you think it's behind as I write in the date. And we did end on 53. For Monday for our coloring sheet. Make sure again that you have your coloring sheet and a blank piece of paper with a pencil. Don't forget those crayons or markers to color in that 120 chart for our mystery picture. So let's hear drum roll, drum roll first grade. Flip it over and we have another yellow card and it looks like Tad is hopping three to the right. If we go and look at our 120 chart and we end it on 53, if he goes three spaces to the right, where is he going to end up? And remember, if we go to the right, we are adding. This is going to be our addition. So we have 53 and we are going to add three spots since we're moving to the right. And where do we end up? Let's count. One, two, three. He would be on 56. So I'm going to go ahead and put 56. Make sure that you're writing that down on your piece of paper. And our color of card was yellow. So we need to go and switch our colors to yellow. And I'm coloring in 56, the color yellow. I'm going to color in my 53 a little bit more and do the greatest job. Okay. And on my observation chart, I need to put in my arrows. And we had three arrows to the right. So let me get out my arrows here. And I have three to the right. There's one, two, three three. Okay, so there we have our three arrows to the right. So our equation was, say it with me, 53 plus three equals, or is the same as, 56. And we ended on 56. Great job, first grade. Ooh, I'm still really wondering what our picture was going to be. I want you guys to give yourself a touchdown, so put up those touchdowns and say, touchdown, nice job. We are now going to look for how many days we have been in school. So let's go ahead and we know that if this is all filled up, we can say 100. So let's say 100 today, 100. Now we're going to count by 25s. 20, 125, 150, we're going to count by ones, 151, 152, 153, 154, and I add one more today, I have 155, wow, 155 days of learning. We need to write this down. Make sure that you have your piece of paper. And to make this number 155, what do we need to change first grade? That is correct. We need to erase the four in the ones place value and make it into a five. We now have five five ones. Knowing that math geniuses, if we look at our picture over here, we have 100, remember 10 tens, 5 10 says 50, and we had four ones, but you guys wrote in the number five, so you are so correct. We need to add another ones 
to say five. Now it says 155. Looking at our addition, we have our expanded notation. Our expanded notation, we're looking at place values. We have 100 plus 50 plus 4 equals 154. What do we need to change? That is correct. Air high five. We need to change the four in the one spot to a five to match our five ones. So I'm going to go ahead and raise. Put a five is the same as 155. And now we need to look at our difference between reaching up to 200 to getting to 155. Let's go back to our chart where we've been filling in our X's. We're going to count the difference. Remember, subtraction is we're looking at the difference between 155 and 200. Let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, and if we get to this dark line here halfway, 45. So now we have a difference of 45 first grade. 200. Take away 46 was 154, but now we're taking away 45. That was the difference. The difference of 45 equals 155. Nice job, first grade. Now I want you to think of a crazy way to get to 155 on your piece of paper to share with your teacher, me, or your parents. Don't forget to send us. We would love to see all of your hard work, your math genius thinking brains. And we are off to our collection for this month. Remember, we are collecting, collecting quarters for every day. We collected one quarter yesterday and we were up to 25 cents. Remember, a quarter is worth 25 cents. But before we add another quarter, we are going to sing our quarter song. Quarter, quarter, big and bold. You're worth 25, I am told. We will add another quarter to our collection down here at the bottom. This is like our pretend little pocket. And if I add another quarter, I am counting by 25s, but we're trying to see how, what that looks like as a whole dollar. If I add another quarter, that's 25 of like the little squares out of our hundreds chart. We have filled 25 and adding another 25, 50. So we now have 50 cents. So we're gonna write down that we have 50 cents with our cent symbol. And then we're also gonna write 50 cents to how many we have based on a dollar because we don't have a whole dollar yet. So we will change our color. We have 50 cents that you can write down on your paper, but we also don't have a whole dollar, so it still says zero, but we have 50 cents, or you can say we have half of a dollar. All right, first grade, you guys did absolutely fabulous for another day of Number Corner on a terrific Tuesday. I hope you guys have a terrific Tuesday, and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye, first grade.